please subscribe and share this video with your friends. Welcome to The Dating Den. I'm Justin Bird, and this is the beautiful Marnie Batista. <laughs> Literally, like they made him say that. But no, they didn't. They're not, they're not pulling teeth here. <laughs> I know, no, I'm kidding. I'm glad you're here, Justin. Thanks for having me. It's Justin awesome. Bird is famous. He's on TV. He's on The Millionaire Matchmaker. And so you're the assistant. What does that mean? What do you do? I'm the assistant. So uh, Patty entrusts me in helping her match make people. So we're out there recruiting, um, you know, the millionaires, bringing yeah. them in. And then also we have to find their their dates too. So they give us a whole laundry list of things that are women they like, different types. Wow. So we go out and um, try and match them up and get the applicable. This is a real, see, this is good background because today we're going to talk about what men really want to say. And one of the things that I love about matchmakers in general is that mm -hmm. after the date, they're like, listen, honey, <laughs> you didn't, you didn't shut up, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, we're playing with your, you know, they give you feedback. So what we're going to talk about is what men just really want to say, but they don't because they're polite. Right. Okay. So number one, what's the number one mm -hmm. thing that men are just like, God, if I could have only said that, <laughs> oh I would have God. saved her years. There's, 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 way too, <laughs> there's way too many, but I'm all about... Oh, let let us guys, as guys know that you're into us. Stop oh, yeah. being so. We actually like the chase. We, you know, us guys like the chase. But let us know. Give us some cues. That's that's all we ask for. It's not the hardest thing in the world. Right. So this is an interesting one because you know I'm sort of anti the rules. Mm -hmm. You know, which is by the way was written like in the '90s, which I think it's really funny that people still follow that. <laughs> It's not antiquated. That's like, yeah, and I watch like the Partridge family. You know what I mean? Like Little House on the Prairie. I'm dating like Monica. I just saw this thing on Facebook. Did you ever watch Friends? You're young. A little bit. A okay. little bit. So I read this thing that and some of you who are older and some of you who are like teenagers, just go get a drink. Um, during this part. Did you know that if Phoebe had triplets? Do you remember Craig? Yes. Her kids would be like 13. That's how long ago Friends was on the air. Really? Wow, when you put it into perspective like that. The, the, the final episode was like 10 years ago or oh, something yeah. like that. Anyway, I just it made me feel slightly <laughs> old. Okay, so back to, back to dating. Okay, so men do not like you to be so aloof that they can't figure out if you're interested. Yeah, I mean, there's the, play it cool, but don't play it too cool. You know, give them the cues. Let them know they're in, you're, you're interested in them because if you are, Give them that look. All they need is look. The look is the biggest thing okay. for you guys. Like, what about text messages? What do you mean, like novels or no, short no, no. text messages? No, so different... I, because I get clients, I get clients all the time, and uh, actually, I just had someone, and she actually did a screenshot. She's in my big find love now, which is like my year-long coaching program. She put the screenshot, and the guy was just like saying, um, "So, tell me about yourself," or you know, so. You know, just like I really vagaries, and she didn't know, like, should I really flirt more? Mm -hmm. Should I just answer his questions? I see that all the time myself, too. Okay. Like, I'll get, like, screenshots of long, long text messages. Okay. Like, I mean, w people nowadays complain about text messaging, and they want to talk. They want to hear a real voice, right. a real person. But because you, you're missing, when you're hitting text, you're missing a lot of the, the dialogue. You don't have the tone. Right. So it kind of screws things up. Okay. So yeah, pick up the phone and call. It's too ambiguous with text messages. No one wants that's to read these idea. text messages. And that's what I tell all my clients as yeah. well. Pick up the phone and call them. The if phone. it's, unless you're trying to do like little sound bites, a little here and there, right. like a hey, text. I understand text. I text all the time, but right. I don't write novels. Okay, I don't so want to no, sit there and read. I call it the rule of thumb, which means that it should not be bigger than your thumb. <laughs> okay, I like that. Okay, like, like even that. that's sort of being generous because um, men don't want to read your novels. No. And so if you get one of those vagary um, emails, so what you could do is you could say, um, I'm really glad you texted. Um, I'm not a texter though, but I'd love for you to call me. I'll be home tonight. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of times kind okay. of how it works. Okay, awesome. Okay, um, this other thing we were talking about, um, which I said, I admit, I always want to continue to grow in this area, okay. is um, that I sometimes over explain. Like, I go, Mrah, and I think it sounds like Charlie. Okay, did you ever watch Charlie Brown? Are you that? Uh, yeah, 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 I watched Charlie Brown. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, are you that? Yeah. I'm that it's like, yeah. Rah, rah, yeah. Wait, women do that thing where men just stop listening. Oh, so, yeah. what would you say to a woman who just kind of talks too much? Look her in the eye right I would, now. I would tell her to use spark notes. 
Spark, Spark notes. If you know what that is, it's all summary. For us old Men, people, that's cliff notes. Go ahead. <laughs> Cliff notes, spark notes, okay. whatever. You know, men shut off, at, as Marty alluded to, men shut off at a certain point. They don't want the whole background, the whole novel. They want just this, the summary. So keep it simple, like that acronym, KISS. Keep it simple, keep it stupid. Simple. Okay, sweetheart. Uh, <laughs> keep, it keep it simple, <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> too kind. So yeah, men, that's, that's the whole point, is men will shut off, and you're not going to get through to them if you keep it long. So keep it short, and men will listen. Definitely. Okay, this is a really good one too um, okay. that you were telling me is mm -hmm. that women are explaining who they are, they label themselves. And Just was like, I hate that. So, so look them in the eye and tell them. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when you're on a date, don't try and categorize yourself. Don't try and label yourself. We're going to do that for you anyway at the end of the day or during the day. Do you have an example? I mean, I gave you an example, but do you have one from any of your dating? the? The tales of Justin. Oh Gardier. yeah, well guys are guys are so literal. So if um, she's saying, "Oh my God, I was, I was, I'm so crazy because I do this, this, and that," us guys are going to be like, "Wow, we're going to it's that's marinating right now in our head," and we're like, "This chick's crazy." So our minds going from A to Z trying to figure out how crazy and what kind of crazy she. Here's is. another one. I just thought of it. Is I don't usually do that. Oh. That is totally labeling that yourself. Means, that, that means, means you, you do, do, do it. it. <laughs> Right here, right here. Yeah, so you're like, you've had like five glasses of wine at dinner, and you're like, oh my god, I, I totally don't usually do that. I don't drink this much either, ever. Yeah, so don't like, do it. Don't okay. label yourself. So ladies, this is like, right. this episode right here is a gift. This is a gift. Because From the dating gods. Exactly. And we're not them. Exactly. It's like, these are the things that no one is actually saying to you. So if there's a little bit of a like, maybe, you might want to consider it. Justin, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. This is fun. Uh, we will see you on the next episode. If you want more, uh, Twitter at Marnie Batista. And where do you find? Twitter, Justin Bird TMM. And you do Instagram. I do Instagram too, Justin Bird Official. I do Instagram too, but it's mostly pictures of my kids and me and my fiance. But if you want to follow along, you can. It's at Marnie Batista. <laughs> It's no, it's not. It's at Dating with Dignity. Okay. It's actually it, but I don't really. Anyway. Um, and then, of course, leave your comments and questions. And if you want more, go to datingwithdignity.com. I love you all so much. Mwah. Bye. Bye.